Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to America's third party Ustream. We are right now at the pinnacle of confusion in our country. It's 2010. Our president, Barack Obama, has served for almost two years and has done next to nothing substantive to help our country out. There's countless people out of a job, over 14 million people uh, and counting. There's lots of people that were out of a job before they even started counting. There's houses that are being foreclosed upon across the country. Over 460,000 houses are in foreclosure right now. And there's a 1.6 million potential foreclosures coming in the near future. Additionally, there's homeless people all around the country without a home. Is Barack Obama doing anything at all to solve these problems? And the prevailing answer is no, he's not. Yet, we continue to, to be led to believe that he's doing the right thing, that he's moving forward, that he's taking care of things. In reality, this guy didn't even handle the oil spill correctly. He waited 45 days to respond to the press and to talk to them about the oil spill. We find out he didn't even contact the CEO of BP until the very latter days of that time period. We, we find out that he's doing everything to pretend that he's doing something without actually doing anything. And what he is doing is scary. He has initiated the sale of nuclear weapons to Vietnam. I say weapons, it's really nuclear technology. But we really don't know what nuclear technology is being sold to Vietnam. He's in, installed a $60 billion contract of weapon sales to Saudi Arabia of which we will be giving some of our highest technology and military secrets away to this this nation that we have been doing trade with for a long time. Despite the fact that they were named in the World Trade Center attack, in fact 17 out of the 18 attackers to the World Trade Center were Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabian. And what we're doing now as a country is floundering in the doldrums with a president who doesn't know what he's doing. Now, if you're watching this in archive recorded history, you're probably wondering, what am I going to do to correct all of this? Well, number one, we are going to get our government accountable for what it's doing or not doing in our, with our tax dollars. We're going to make our government officials actually work or we're going to fire them. Now, I anticipate laying off over 50% of the federal workforce in trimming our budget and getting it to be solvent for 2013. But as your president, I will not be able to just magically make everything right after eight years of Bush and four years of Barack Obama. I will have to start programs that will create jobs. We anticipate creating up to 10 million jobs with government programs that will create renewable energy products like solar rooftops that will help power up our houses and make, make green energy turn into free energy for all of us. We've got a plan to actually build so small windmills, vertical windmills, all across the country on top of our electric grid. So we won't create these massive wind turbines necessarily. We'll still do some of that on the ocean side, but we'll be creating smaller wind turbines across the country and that will no doubt create over a million jobs. We also plan on rebuilding our roads using a patch crew, a modern day patch crew which will have nothing but high-tech equipment and will be able to come in and just fix our roads, maintaining road safety and quality for years to come. That will employ possibly another half a million people. We anticipate building our nuclear power generation system so that it includes fast breeder reactors. These reactors have been developed in France. Our country was developing them back around Bill Clinton's time and he stopped it. He stopped the IFR program, the Integral Fast Reactor Program, which was designed to get rid of the spent fuel rods that we currently have in storage all around our country. And these nuclear reactors we have are getting antiquated and we need to upgrade them to uh, Generation 4 and above reactors as well. So all of this will employ millions of people. We have another plan called Homestead Renewal, which will help build houses for people or take houses that are currently in disrepair and fix them up. And this plan is very much like Habitat for Humanity, uh, but it gives people an opportunity of actually owning a house, their dream house, if you will. In fact, for many people, owning a house is a dream. So why not make that their dream house? They would work in the system, working for Homestead Renewal, and get money doing that, and also points that would actually apply toward the ownership of their house 
or their down payment on their house and their house will be sold to them by the government. The government's going to pick up the, the foreclosed properties that are currently flooding the market, buy them at a discount and then fix these properties up and sell them back to the people working in the program. This is not at all like the programs of the past, the Democrats. These programs will be tested for a return on investment. They will have to show return on investment or they will be scrubbed. All the programs that run through my administration will have an investment strategy which will ultimately bring you, the taxpayer, a credit or a discount on your taxes. And ultimately, we like to propose a flat tax, much like what Ross Perot proposed back in 1992. The flat tax that we are proposing is 20% on everything over $20,000. So if you have a family and your wife and you are filing taxes, you'll be able to get a $20,000 deductible for yourself and a $20,000 deductible for your wife, and then you'll pay taxes of 20% on the difference of your income. So if you're making $100,000 between the two of you, which is pretty good money in this day and age, you'd be paying 20% on $60,000. So in, in other words, you'll be paying $12,000 in taxes, which will be a lot less than a family earning 100,000 right now is paying. So our plan is solid. It's good for the lower middle class, the middle class, and the upper middle class. And by the way, if you don't make 20,000, you don't pay any taxes. So if you make less than 20,000, that's pretty much in your pocket. You'll be able to get ahead and at least survive in this economy with that kind of money. So all of this combined, make us different than every other political party out there. We've got a platform, unlike the Tea Party. We don't want to cut programs that are viable and, and valuable to the American people, like Social Security and Medicare. We want to make them work more efficiently. We're going to set up a team of, of auditors that will look into Medicare fraud and Medicaid fraud and Social Security fraud, and we will find those loopholes and we will cap and plug those leaks. This is the secret to getting our country to run efficiently. And I plan on introducing legislation that will legalize marijuana. Or I plan on removing marijuana from the list of controlled substances on the schedule of controlled substances that is currently out there from 1970. The Controlled Substances Act of 1970 will be repealed by me. Or we'll work on legislation to make marijuana legal because we believe it would be a big boost to our economy for taxes to be pulled off of money derived from people selling marijuana. We think that's a good thing. It'd be good for states like California that could make up to, up to a trillion dollars a year in tax revenue, which would help get them out of debt. And the best thing about legalizing marijuana is we can create hemp in, in abundance across the country because it's a cover crop for marijuana. We then can create hemp and then produce biofuel called hempoline. And it can be run in any big rig diesel running across this country. And that means a savings to the truckers that do the deliveries and the transfer of goods across this nation, meaning lower costs for you at the marketplace. So this is a way in which we're going to stimulate our economy. We've got another plan called a micro loan program where we're going to give $1,000 to anybody who wants to start a small business. Any U.S. citizen over age 18 can get, it, get involved in this program. And yeah, you could take the money theoretically and never get another loan. But if you pay the money back with 8% interest, which means you pay back 1,040 in six months, you'll be able to get another 1,000 at any time within that time period. And then you can continue building a business and it'll jumpstart our economy in a big way. It creates disposable income for people that don't have a lot of money and it creates a small business alternative for people that have no income whatsoever right now. So these are some of the ideas. Check them out at americasthirdparty.com. Check our show out on Ustream every single Saturday at 6 p.m. We're going to run a, a one-hour show and we're going to talk to all of you and we're also doing shows every single day across the internet. Just go to our site at americasthirdparty.com and you will see where we're going to be any given day. Our schedule is right up there. We got a fantastic Google schedule agenda that tells you where we're at and you can track us and find out how you can become more involved promoting America's Third Party to your family and your friends and spreading the good word about what we're up to. Thank you for listening. I'm David John Sponheim for President in 2012, and I approve this message.